Welcome back. Now, despite a low voter turnout in the 2019 provincial and national elections, the Freedom Front Plus managed to bring their supporters to the voting stations. Party campaign manager Voter Vessels says this is what worked in their favor as the party managed to grow from four seats to ten seats in parliament. Analysts say this year's election outcome reflect how South Africans still vote alongside racial lines. The Freedom Front Plus Fight Back campaign unapologetically prioritized the interests of the Afrikaner minorities in South Africa. The campaign seems to have won the hearts of many as the party secured over 400,000 votes. This despite a low voter turnout this year. It was a low voter turnout and our voters came through and we're thankful for that. The Freedom Front Plus, the Economic Freedom Fighters and Inkata Freedom Party are among the biggest winners in this year's elections and they have the numbers to show for it. As for the Freedom Front Plus, this is one of the biggest surprises of this election. On the one hand, we see some call it the resurgence of uh, you know, white African nationalism. For me, I don't uh, see that. Uh, of course, it shows the polarization, uh, racial polarization of the South African society. The South Africans uh, fairly are still you know, uh, voting along racial lines. The Freedom Front Plus says it is now seated at the big table. They are now part of the big five parties in the country. Their growth, they say, shows that they can no longer be taken for granted. Offense Estimo, SABC News, Pretoria.